Hello everyone and welcome to a video where uh, it will be revealed how you yourself can play against Alireza Firuja. Now, uh, for those of you who are only interested in that bit of information, it will be in the timestamps below so you can just click on that. But I urge you to check out this game. I've prepared a very nice one and um, uh, th then we're going to get to how you can play against Alireza and some of the updates that we've done on our app. Uh, now, this is a game from the Aeroflot Open. It was played on the uh, 29th of February in 2017. And as you can see, uh, Alireza Reza was not the 2800 monster he is today. Uh, he was rated 2465. So he is the underdog in this fight. And he is fighting against uh, Matthias Bluebaum, uh, who was at the time uh, a fifth rated the junior uh, in, in the world with, with a rating of 2632. So let's see this incredible game. And then we are going to uh, discuss the specifics of uh, how you can play against Alireza. Now, Alireza had the white pieces and he opened with pawn to e4. We have pawn to c6. And Matthias goes for the Karakhan defense with d4 d5 and Alireza goes for the advanced variation pawn to e5 with bishop to f5 and now okay you could go for the uh, some crazy stuff with g4 the, the bayonet attack but Alireza goes for the nice calm short variation knight f3 pawn to e6 and now uh, nowadays bishop to e2 uh, is um, pretty much a, a move that everyone plays but in the game Alireza played c3 it's actually the fourth most popular continuation and um, uh, as I was able to learn uh, only Russians play it uh, so it's sort of a uh, uh, on the absolute highest level Russians play it like uh, Nipomnashi plays it Grishu plays it uh, Fedosev plays it uh, and Alireza played it in this game so, okay uh, c3 uh, we have knight to e7 uh, and knight to d7 is the move that uh, uh, is standard against pawn to c3 but after knight to e7 there are only a, a handful of games in the database with this position so bishop to e2 knight to g6 and now pawn to h4 alireza says all right let's just kick away that knight from such a silly square matthias says nope plays h5 but by playing h5 he also allowed knight to g5 now you can never play h6 again once you've played h5 and also the pawn on h5 is sort of hanging so on to f6 you have to challenge the knight we have e captures on f6 g captures and now knight back to h3 and here king to d7 obviously uh, this is a, a still still a known line and this has been played before otherwise you wouldn't just be uh, walking around with your king like that and while you could capture the h5 pawn uh, the h4 pawn is also hanging so all it is a place knight f4 now the pawn is defended knight captures on f4 bishop captures and now queen to e8 now the queen and the rook are gone guarding the h5 pawn and there is a game where knight to d2 was played but Alireza plays pawn to c4 and it is now as of move 13 that this position has never been reached again. Uh, Matthias captures on c4 we have bishop captures and now queen to g6 now uh, putting pressure on the g2 pawn also if you move the queen to a silly square then you blunder the knight on b1 uh, but Alireza ignores all of that and just plays queen to b3 and now okay the knight is hanging the g2 pawn can be captured what's the idea here well the idea here okay if bishop captures on b1 that's just terrible that loses um, if bishop captures on b1 then you can just play queen captures on b7 check and it's game over but the really fun stuff happens if queen captures on g2 is played and the rook on h1 is now being threatened you're still going to capture on b7 with check and after king to d8 now okay you can't capture because um, uh, queen captures on h1 also comes with check so you're going to play rook to f1 and now queen to e4 with check bishop to e3 as now the bishop is hanging bishop e3 and now c5 you defend your rook like this and once uh, everything gets traded off let's say captures captures uh, knight to c3 attacks the bishop uh, you don't really have good moves with black here because the d file will open up uh, the bishop is hanging also the e6 pawn is hanging so you can avoid two of the three threats but not the third one now just the captures rook ad1 check is coming uh alireza would be up a pawn and it would be a passed c pawn so this would be very very good for alireza so the only move here for matthias is pawn to b5 which he played uh and now uh after this we have simply castles alireza says of course the bishop cannot be captured the bishop to a queen b7 check is still Still very very much deadly so rook g8 matthias uh, uh counters by going for a checkmating threat of queen captures on g2 and alireza defends with pawn to g3 now comes queen to g4 
queen to g4 with some nasty ideas of just checkmating the white king, but also with a with a simple queen captures an f4 threat as the g pawn cannot move. So Alireza plays a very tricky rook to e1 move, now uh, uh, invites uh, all sorts of moves, but queen captures on f4 is now met with bishop captures on e6 with check. And of course, you're not going to capture, you're going to move the king, but now comes bishop captures on f5. And you win back your material, uh, you, you cannot capture back, otherwise uh, you're going to lose the rook on g8 as well. So rook g7, bishop b4, and the game continues with um, black just having a terrible king on c7. Uh, uh, how you should continue this is, uh, well, not something that uh, anyone would think of, is pawn to a5. And now, after pawn to a4, you have to play bishop to b4. You attack the rook here, and now a captures on b5, uh, bishop captures on e1, b captures on c6 check, and now you cannot even capture this, you have to go back, uh, and with king to e8, black would have a well, a, a, a fine game, uh, uh, you want some material, your king is uh, in a pretty bad shape, but uh, uh, with objectively best play, black should be better here. But okay, after rook e1, uh, bishop to b4 was uh, played right away by Matthias, and now uh, Alireza uh, uh, has, uh, the idea of course is, is that if queen captures, now you can capture the bishop, but Alireza went, uh, went for bishop captures on e6 check, bishop captures, now comes rook captures, and now queen captures, so he sacrifices the exchange, Queen captures on b4 and now knight to a6. And you have to be really quick about it because you're also not um, uh, great in development. So knight a6 attacks the queen. Queen to d2 and now rook a to e8, um, uh, gaining control of the e file. Alireza continues development, knight to c3, prepares d5, and Matthias stops it with knight to c7. But uh, Alireza still plays it. Pawn to d5. You could also consider pawn to b4, but you could consider that in any position. So d5, knight captures on d5, knight captures, queen captures, and now just queen to c2. And now if you look at the position, uh, five pawns each, uh, but uh, Matthias is just up, uh, up the exchange. So the only thing Alireza has going for him uh, is the uh, weak position of the black king. So king to c8, Matthias trying to improve it a little bit, rook to d1. And here you have to play queen to e4. Queen to e4 or queen to c4, better is queen to e4, uh, and you are uh, still playing this game. But after queen to f3, the position is now completely winning for Alireza, but it's really not easy to see why. So feel free to pause the video and win the game for Alireza while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on uh, finding this uh, crazy line. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, the move is queen to f5 with check. It's the first move you thought of, of course, so it's not the difficult one. What's difficult is what comes after this. King to b7, uh, and now rook to d7 with check. And now, of course, you cannot go to king uh, to, to b6 because, uh, sorry, you, you cannot go uh, king to b6, yeah, because bishop to c7 check just blunders the queen on f3. So you cannot touch the dark squares. You have to go to a8 or on a6 but uh, whatever you play the <laughs> Alireza's next move is is the same Matthias played king to a8 and now Alireza just played the rook captures on a7 with check the point being now uh, Matthias's king is being forced to a dark square which means there will be discoveries on the black queen that's why the queen is weak on f3 it's simply undefended uh, so king captures on a6 uh, on a7 and now bishop to b8 with check king captures and alireza wins the black queen with queen captures on f3 but it's still two rooks against the queen alireza is up a pawn but the problem is he's attacking the c6 pawn and the h5 pawn so he's gonna win uh, one of them and uh, it's not uh, great if you if you give up c6 then uh, you're just gonna be checked to infinity you're gonna lose both of the pawns and then the a and b pawns are marching forward and if you defend the c6 pawn then you lose this pawn you create uh, an H pawn and that's also trouble. So Matthias had to choose uh, between two of the lesser evils. He defended the C6 pawn. Now queen captures on H5. We have rook G to E8 doubling up on the E file. Now queen to F7. Just uh, being annoying here and preparing to uh, push the H pawn. Rook A to E7 kicking away the queen. Queen to G6. We have king to B7. Now comes pawn to H5. We have king to B6 and you can't uh, play H6 right away. If you play H6 then F5 is very strong. Uh, but I'll Alireza finds a way, he plays pawn to g4. And okay, we have pawn to c5, Matthias trying to create some counterplay here, maybe if he can get three moves in, he will also get a pass pawn, but now Alireza finds h6. And now the problem is, there is no way to counter it, h7 is coming. Uh, Matthias did play uh, f, uh, f5, 
But now uh, comes something that I always mention in games. Uh, yes, you have a queen and it's a great advantage having a queen, but sometimes you have to trade that advantage for a different uh, kind of advantage. And that's exactly what Alireza does here. He plays G captures on F5. He gives back the queen and you can't capture the queen and you cannot not capture the queen. If you just move back, then H7 is completely winning. So Matthias had to capture the queen, F captures on g6, two connected pass pawns on the sixth rank are stronger than a rook. Of course, uh, rook to e6 was played hoping to get some check, uh, checking action here, but just g7. We have rook to g6 check, uh, Alireza played king to f1, and he was in this position on a move uh, 42 that Matthias Bluebaum uh, resigned the game as there is nothing more to be done here. Whatever black plays, doesn't really matter. If you, if you capture on h6, then Alireza promotes a pawn. If you push a pawn, then h7 and the pawns are unstoppable, you can capture one of them, but the other one will still queen, and of course, a queen beats a rook. So, incredible game, and uh, I'm, I was very sad to see that I still haven't uh, shown this game on the channel, but uh, that also made me ha very happy, because that meant I get to show it today. So, you know, you, you win however you play it, I guess. Uh, now that we've enjoyed this uh, brilliancy of the young Alireza from 2017, uh, let's um, uh, let's uh, head straight to the news. So the way uh, you guys can play against Alireza uh, if, uh, uh, is if you download our Improve app. Now, uh, we've uh, published it some two months ago, I believe maybe a month and a half ago, and uh, already, uh, I, th I don't know the exact number, over. I, I know that over uh, 10,000 people have downloaded it and uh, are, are trying it out. Uh, some are enjoying it very much. Uh, and you uh, guys are also able to do that. Now, the first link in the description below uh, is a link where you can download the app and uh, uh, get into it. Now, the way uh, you get to play Alireza, uh, for the moment, uh, we are we are thinking of um, uh, 20 of the best improvers. So uh, you get uh, rating or not rating, you get points when you improve, uh, when you uh, finish an action item, and then you climb up the leaderboard. So these are the current leaders, the top 10, uh, Emmy, uh, WYB, Smognap, Mark, uh, Patrick, the Prague, Lube, Cool Blue Sam, uh, Michel 13, Sierry, Chuck H, and Nama. So those are the top 10. And the top 20 people in our app will get a chance to play against Alireza Firuja on the 20th of October. Uh, he will be uh, holding um, a simultaneous exhibition on Lee Chess, and he will be joining me for a live stream. Uh, we're going to go through the games, and he will be also commentating on your games. Uh, if uh, you know if it's not going to be too hard for him to play against uh, you guys and now uh, the those who are eligible to enter this simultaneous exhibition are those who are uh, full-time members of the improve app uh, that means that um, uh, those who are who have access to the full app the full app is uh, $3.99 a month uh, and you get all sorts of perks uh, if you become a full-time member and uh, playing Galereza is only only the, the, the first of the great events that we are um, uh, planning to create. Now, also, I wanted to mention that uh, uh, we've done some improvements on the app. Uh, uh, some of you had problems uh, logging into uh, as uh, s s some countries had problems logging into the app, so we fixed that. And also, a lot of you have requested that you would prefer logging in via email than via uh, 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 a phone number so that will be implemented uh, uh, very soon as i uh, as i understand it and also uh, we've included uh, some new action items over 100 action items has been included uh, to help you uh, improve further uh, so uh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, regarding that and uh, uh, also uh, i wanted to mention that um, uh, we would very much uh, we would very much enjoy if you left us uh, a review on the uh, Apple Store and on the uh, and on the Google Play Store and uh, to uh, further incentivize you in doing that uh, we are offering three uh, one year subscriptions to the Improve app so whoever uh, uh, whoever helps us uh, on the on the App Store it doesn't have to be a positive comment it can be also a negative comment or a neutral comment it, uh, we just uh, need comments uh, we'll go into the roster to win a, a free one year subscription. And uh, uh, when you comment on the uh, on the App Store on, or on the Google Play Store, uh, just uh, copy paste your comment in the description uh, in the comments of this video uh, on YouTube. So uh, as we are going to pull the winners uh, from the YouTube video. Uh, so yeah. So uh, uh, if you guys are already on the app, that's great. Uh, that means you are already eligible to, to play Alireza. If there will be too many people uh, improving and it will be a really really close call uh, on the top twenty, we will include five more and we will. Uh, add them uh, on random so uh, we're gonna uh, do the top 20 and then five people in random so 
everyone uh, really gets a chance to, to face Alireza. Uh, you, uh, the time format is still being decided, but probably you guys will get half an hour uh, and Alireza will get a little bit more as he will have to play against uh, 20 people. So he will also have to spend time switching uh, through the boards. But yeah, it's a great uh, opportunity for you to face one of the uh, greatest players of chess today. Uh, Alireza Firuja, uh, while he also comments on your game live, uh, so I don't know, that's that's pretty uh, pretty incredible. Uh, so remember, it's only for um, uh, for users who have the full version of the app. So if you if you want to get in on the action, uh, you know the the sooner the better, as you will be able to accumulate points um, uh, much much uh, much much faster. And even if you are a free user of the app, you can still accumulate points. So only they will not count for uh, who is. Uh, uh, in the top 20. Uh, so uh, as usual, I probably have forgotten to mention something very important, but uh, if I re you know, remember it, I will also mention it in the comments of this video, probably pin my comments. So yeah, you guys have a, a, a better understanding of everything that's happening. If you have any questions, also do ask, I will answer it in the uh, in the comment section. But yeah, that's pretty much it. 20th of October, that uh, will be the uh, simultaneous exhibition. You guys have a chance to play Alireza Firuzja. Uh, let's, uh, let's, have a, let's have a great time and hope that this is only the first of many great events um, uh, in collaboration with the Improve app. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the video and a little bit of extra info uh, on the on the app and uh, what we are doing. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I would like to thank Amanda Oliver, the most beautiful girl in the world, Duncan Weinkoll, Egbert Jan Schirhorn, Olive Oli, and uh, Adam Decker, uh, the loneliest guy in the world for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon. Continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.